This is the Central African Republic. It's known mainly for three things, astronomy, cool magnet stuff, and the topic of this video, Bokasa the First. Bokasa was born in 1922 in French Equatorial Africa to a pair of parents that didn't exactly last very long. His father tried to protest the French, which only got him brought to a local town and beaten to death, and after hearing of this, his mother killed herself. You are not one lucky kid. What remained of Bokasa's family decided to bring him to a really fancy French school where he was bullied for being an orphan, and it was at the school that he earned the nickname Jean Bedel after an author of one of his grammar books. Eventually, he went to study in Bangui, then in Brazzaville, where apparently he was really good at cooking. He joined the French colonial troops and also the Free French Forces. And after the independence of the CAR, Bokasa became the first ever colonel for their army. Bokasa would give hints at his ambitions to take over the government on multiple occasions. He would show up at meetings with all of his badges, sit right next to the president, and argue a lot with the guy who controlled the seating plan. But still, nobody could have predicted that on New Year's Eve 1965, Bokasa would have taken over the capital, Bangui, and imprisoned President Daco. And now, a dramatic reenactment of the 1965 New Year's Eve coup d'etat. One hour and a half before midnight, Captain Alexander Bonza, co-conspirer with Bokasa, gives his officers orders to begin the coup. Meanwhile, Bokasa is on the telephone. Mr. Izamo, please come to my headquarters. I need to speak with you about something. What do you mean? It's New Year's Eve. I'm partying. Mr. Izamo, I need you to sign some important documents. Ugh, I guess I'll show up. Good. Soon, Mr. Izamo arrives. So, where's the documents I need to sign? Mr. Izamo, there are no documents. Me and Mr. Bonza want to ask you if you want to join our coup against Daco's government. What do you mean a coup? I would never betray my president, Daco. Well, in that case, put him in the cellar, boys. Now, it's time to deal with Daco. Soon, our protagonists make their way to the palace, but Daco is nowhere to be seen. He's not here. He must be aware of the coup. Attention all soldiers. Daco has not been found in the palace. Search for him in the countryside. And so, Bokasa and his team searched and searched until they found President Daco. President Daco, I tried to warn you, but now it's too late. Boys, put him in the cell. And so, it was the dawn of a new era for the Central African Republic, one under a new dictator, Bokasa I. Bokasa didn't instantly become a dictator, he started out as president, but then he spent a third of the nation's money on his incoronation ceremony to become king for life of the Central African Empire. And everything was going well until he started beating children to death. Bokasa's wife manufactured school uniforms, and one day some students protested against the really high prices of these uniforms. And so, Bokasa organized a massacre. 100 school children died, some of which Bokasa personally beat to death with a cane. Yeah, after this whole episode, Bokasa's rule didn't really last that long. Fun fact, Bokasa was actually replaced by David Daco after his rule ended. I guess you can say his rule lasted less than this video. Mm -hmm. 